The third step of the serve progressions is to develop a consistent toss. In step two of the serve fundamentals section, we talked about some of the things all pros do when they toss the tennis ball. They hold the ball in their fingers, not in their palm, they hold it in their fingers. They keep their tossing arm relatively straight as it rises up. They release the ball about the top of their head, and when they release it, they just open their hand up. They don't want any spin on the tennis ball. And then their tossing arm continues to rise after they've released the tennis ball. Also, every time they toss, they're going to put the ball in a specific location, and they're going to have the ball rise to a specific height. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about how you develop a consistent toss. And what we need to do is table the stuff we talked about in the previous two videos, the weight transfer, body turn, and swing. Put that in your back pocket because if you can't develop a consistent toss, if you can't put the ball in the same spot, it doesn't matter if you have consistent mechanics because you're going to be reaching for the tennis ball every single time you serve. So to start, the way you develop a consistent toss is you get yourself in the position I'm in. We're focused on my feet. I'm in the party stance. And you'll notice that the tennis racket is pointing into the court and I've got the handle of my tennis racket lined up with my front foot. If we pull it back out, full body view, what I'm going to try and do is toss the ball so that I land it on my strings every single time. And we can see that this is what that looks like. I toss the ball and it lands on my strings. And that's going to allow me to develop a consistent toss in terms of the location where I put it. And one of the keys when you practice this is when you toss the tennis ball, you want to leave your tossing arm up after you release the ball. And you want to leave it up here until the ball bounces on the strings. Then you get to take it down. And that will get you in the habit of developing a smooth arm motion when you release the ball and then you continue to leave it up there into your trophy pose. Now the other thing you need to do with your toss, not only do you need to be able to put it in a specific spot, but you want the toss reaching a specific height every single time. About one to two feet above your contact point is what we recommend and that will allow you to be consistent with your entire motion. You'll develop a rhythm. So what I've done here is I've come up to the back fence and I've gotten myself into that same position, the party stance, with the tennis racket right in front of my body and the handle of the racket in line with my front foot. And I'm going to practice that same drill, but when I toss, I'm going to try and put the ball at the top of the windscreen, and that will allow me to, that will give me a reference point when I'm trying to develop a consistent tossing height. Now, the windscreen is not one to two feet above my contact point, but I'm just using it in this video just to show that I'm putting the toss at about the same height every single time I do it. And if we watch a couple of these tosses, uh, if one of these, like the one here, is off to the side, I just catch it and I keep practicing. And what you want to be able to do is put the tennis ball on the string, same height and then same location, about eight out of, eight out of ten times. That will give you a consistent toss. So that's what you want to work on.